Hi guys, it's a humid rainy morning in July. I think it's, I've lost track of the days. I think it's the 13th, maybe the 14th. Well, we're excited because our countertops are coming today and they should be here probably within the hour, within an hour, I should say. It's nine, it's almost 9.30 and they are due to come between 10 and 10.30. So it could be sooner. And they're usually very prompt, the countertop company. So there's just a few things we have to get off the counter, like my husband's tools and things. And I don't know, I cleaned this island last night while he put this stuff here. Don't even ask me. That paper that I have over there, I'm putting on the side of the refrigerator. My husband was in there. It's a padded paper just to protect the refrigerator. Because believe it or not, the last time we had quartz installed in our other kitchen, the last like I do it every year. The time we had quartz installed in our other kitchen when we replaced our countertops, I wasn't here because I usually watch like a hawk. My husband was here, but whoever it was that put it in, um, in this exact place, and this isn't the refrigerator obviously, down lower, like there was a, a, like a gouge line and, um, you know, we got reimbursed for it, but see, they didn't mention it. Then I had to call the kitchen company that was handling it. We were reimbursed for the damage, but I don't want that to happen again. So I have this, and then this is a, a padded paper that came on the cabinets, which I'm just putting up there on the side. <laughs> and I'm being a little proactive with the side of my oven like that. And just, yeah, I'm a little crazy, but I, I just don't feel like going through that again. So, you know, not being their way, these pieces are really heavy and like my nightmare is them dropping it, which I saw on one of those HGTV shows. So not looking forward to that. And then we're also having the templates drawn for the quartz in the master bathroom. So that's exciting. So like a week from now, we should be going through the same process but um, for the master bath and we tried to have them done on the same day but we had to we didn't get to get the vanity fully installed and they can't template it unless it is so obviously they were just like hey don't worry about it you know when we come to deliver the countertop then we'll do the template and today my electrician and my plumbers are supposed to be here First of all, before the countertops go in, they have to put the, well, the electric is there, but they have to cut out for the outlets in back of the island, and then they're here to connect up the sinks, install the cooktop, hook up the dishwasher. Um, the rain hood we did put in, I'll show you, but it's not hooked up. Hi guys, it is 2.19 in the morning and I just got out of bed because I realized that I forgot to show you about the countertops. And right when I was in the middle of that video, and it was like 8.30 in the morning, my plumber was at the door, my contractor too. And I was like, oh, and I just had to shut off the camera. But so the countertops are here. Remember how I fretted about going with this or going with the Ella? very very glad I got this I can't tell you um, Cambria has to do something to showcase the looks of the slabs on their website on their pictures because I so seriously almost didn't go with this because of the way it looked in pictures I loved my sample piece and I had a big sample piece but when I would see pictures on the web of it, oh my gosh, it was horrid looking. It really did. It looked like a laminate. It was horrible. So, um, you know, and I'm not the only one that says that. Most people that get their Cambria, they say the same thing like me. They were going to go for something else because they really didn't like the look of um, it on the website, even though they liked the sample. But then they got this, then they went with it and they loved it. And I don't know if you can see on the camera, there's all little nice little um, like silver glittery it's really pretty 
And um, I am going with the same thing in the master bathroom. Now, snafus, right? Did we have snafus? Eh. We had, it was so funny. They had put in that slab over there first, okay? So I was watching, 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 watching. And there were three guys who were doing it. And then when one of the guys let it go, he let it come down like, like hard on the sink. And I was so scared. And I think the other guy got scared too. Like, hey, you don't do that. But um, our little sink is okay. Our fire clay sink is just fine. Um, so the only seam in the whole kitchen is right there. That's the only seam. There are no other seams. Yikes, I just saw a spider. Okay, so. Now, the island is all one piece. And back there is all one piece. So, as they were in bringing in this piece here, and it wasn't cut out when they brought it in, they did this cut on site. Okay. So as they were bringing in that piece there, my kitchen designer walks in, you know, and we're standing over here by the island watching the guys. Now they bring it in on a steel dolly and then, you know, it's like on my count, one, two, three, and they pick it up, they hoist it, and then they like flip it. I'm paranoid it's going to hit my dishwasher. I'm paranoid it's going to, you know. So I'm watching, even though I don't want to be watching, even though it's so completely stressful. There's crumbs here. Um, my kitchen designer goes to me, oh my gosh, I can never watch this. And she goes to every time they install. She's like, we should just walk away. And I said, yeah, I know, I know, I'm a wreck, but, you know, it's like a train wreck. I, I, I want to look away, but I can't. And meanwhile, these guys are up there struggling, and they get this in. And then one of the guys turns to me and says, you know, we're not a train wreck. We do this every day. And I said, oh my gosh, you guys totally misunderstood that. And I'm thinking like the whole time he's hoisting into the thing, he's thinking I'm calling him a train wreck. And I explained to him what I meant. It's, it's like, I don't want to look, but I can't help looking, not that they were a train wreck. So anyway, they go and they get the island. And when they put the island counter down, the one guy says, um, Oh, it's not completely straight. And he goes, oh, don't worry. We'll straighten that all out at the end. Now, there's a sink in the island. And they had this with them for the template. They take the sink um, when it's an undermounted sink like this. So they brought it back, and they're putting it in. And these holes are also done on site. But the cutout is done. They, did, they just, you know, attach it. So whatever. So they're doing the island, but then they go over and do this. Now, would you believe I never in my life thought the piece that was going to give them the trouble was over there. So what happens over there is they bring the piece in, and they go, oh, my gosh, it's like a smidge too tight, okay? So it's okay. They take it out, and they, they, they're going to take some off of it. Well, when they came back, and, you know, like I said, they came in with the island top, which is way bigger than that. They came in with that piece, which is way awkward. And they came in with this piece, which is really big, because that didn't have the cutout. They did that cutout on site. So they're putting that in, and I'm watching. My kitchen designer is still here. And they're trying to put it in. Now it's a really tight fit, so they have like these boards on these cardboard, thin cardboard on either side so as not to scratch the cabinet, right? But it gets held up. Oh, and my, and, and my plumber is behind me because he knows how, like what a wreck I am. He knows well enough working with me. So he's always telling me, why aren't you taking videos? Why aren't you shooting pictures now? You know, so I'm like, just calm down. I don't want to make them nervous, you know? So anyway, he's behind me. And my kitchen designer is like freaking. She's like into the hallway now, okay? And it's like stuck, okay? But it's stuck on one of those wall outlets there in the back. See, they're coming forward because we haven't put the backsplash on, and those outlets are actually all being changed. So the one guy on this end over here starts like, I thought he was having a baby. I thought he was doing the Ma's breathing, okay? 
and he's turning beet red. The guy on the other end starts screaming for another guy they have, John, to grab it off. And then one of them is like, it's stuck on the effing outlet. But of course he said the word, <laughs> you know, and they're freaking. And I can just see like, it, it was so, and then my plumber was like, oh my gosh, right? So he's, he's like heading over there to try to help them with the outlet. They finally got it and got it down and but it was scary and then I asked them like do you ever have like big problems and they're like well you know we have little problems there's little touch-ups and things that usually need to be done sometimes when it's a tight fitting cabinets but look if it comes to a thing where something's going to drop and someone's going to get hurt and maybe it's going to destroy some property <laughs> they're going to let the property be destroyed and take care of it rather than let one of their men be hurt but they said no it usually doesn't ever happen to that proportion so it's, yeah, it was just, that was the scariest part. So then I'm like always breathing a sigh of relief. But next week, they have to deliver a vanity top made of the same quartz upstairs <laughs> to my master bedroom that's bigger than my island, longer than my island. So that should be fun. Okay, now, so they go ahead, they're, you know, cleaning up, giving me the instructions. Now, my plumbers, my electricians, they all said, we cannot, I thought my sinks were gonna be hooked up, but they said no sink hook up for 24 hours. They don't want any water on this at all. Okay, because there's a seal, you can't see it because it dries clear. When they put it on, it's white, and they don't want any water on it at all. So, my plumber and electric, you know, the contractor, everything, that he, he takes pity on me, and so he says, um, don't worry will come out on Saturday and we're also going to try to start installing the cabinets here that couldn't be installed because that big one over there goes right on the island, on, on the island, on the countertop. So I'm thinking, oh, at first I was like really upset because yeah, I really wanted to have a sink. I wanted to have my stove, you know, I wanted to have my dishwasher. I want to be able to start bringing in my dishes, washing them, putting them away and stuff. Anywho. That's not gonna happen, right? So I'm like, okay, that's not gonna happen. And there's this is still plastic on my dishwasher. This is dusty from, from them cutting the, the stone. Anyway, so and these drawers, they took them out because they're working in the um in there. So anyway, after you know five, ten minutes they leave and then five ten minutes my contractor says you know we'll be back tomorrow morning you guys should go to a movie and you guys should go out to dinner and everybody should stay out of the kitchen which we did we went out to dinner and we stayed out of the kitchen but before i did that i was standing like right here and i go to my husband something's wrong and he's like what's wrong and i'm like something's wrong i said it looks like the countertop is going like this and then like I always say if I don't watch things, things happen. Like people say, oh, don't, don't watch, just relax. Everything will do. When I don't watch, that's when things happen, okay? Because like, it's like I'm like everybody's mother and I remind them, okay? So my name, Mommy Ramblings, is pretty good. Um, but so then my husband's like, no, it's probably just a shadow. He tells me that. And a lot of times it is, but we started to measure. And over here, it's hanging off like an inch and a quarter. And down there, here. It's like a half an inch. So now I'm like freaking, right? But I had asked them, are you siliconing this down? They said, no, the weight of this alone is going to, you know, hold. That's it. So my husband thinks they siliconed it. He, he's swearing, he sees it, but I, I don't. What they did do is they siliconed this. But then my husband notices, wait a second, looks like this has more of an overhang than that. So now, it's not only that the stone has to be moved, because the stone you could have dealt with, right? The stone, you know, if it's not siliconed, they could come when they're putting the bathroom in and just move the stone. But now, wait a minute, now the sink needs to be moved. Okay, now what? So, my husband's looking and he's like, okay, it's, shouldn't won't matter when this is this sink will still be square you know in there it's just this has to be moved everything will be fine 
So I called the kitchen designer because they had only been gone like 10 minutes. I'm like, is there any way we can get them back? We can get this done. And um, so she's like, well, I don't, I don't know, you know, this and that and the other thing. And so I've got all sawdust in there. So I want water. So anyway, she's like, no, you know, that's not going to be possible. They'll just come and do it next week. And now I'm thinking to myself, oh, great. So I can't even hook up this sink. And I actually called the stone company. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Because I wanted to tell, I didn't even tell my kitchen designer that the, the sink was in there, right? So now I'm thinking, she said, they're like, oh no, that's not a problem. Don't worry about it. You can still hook up your sink tomorrow. The plumbing won't have any effect because they just, they, they'll un, you know, do this sink. They'll re-silicone it, right? after they move the stone and it won't have any bearing to do, you know, there'll be no bearing on the plumbing and you can use the sink and everything else. So I'm like, um, okay. So, you know, I just can't believe like three people from the stone company, three people with, you know, my contractor's crew there and my husband and I was the one you know, that came in after and saw this, you know, like, wouldn't that be something to check? And then, you know, it kept coming back to me where he said, it's okay, I'll fix it. Now, whoops, you probably wouldn't notice it, like, you know, really prominent. You probably will see on now because I mentioned it. But yeah, I mean, but I just don't know. This island is so big to me now. Now it's just, it's crazy because my other island she's telling me it was only nine inches shorter but it seems so big and i know the whole kitchen seems big because we took out the soffits but it just it, i thought it was going to seem smaller when they put the top on because it has an overhang where we you eat under but literally i used to have three stools and they were like pretty close and that there was no room to put a fourth when she told me in the, in the showroom, she's like, oh, you're probably going to have five. I literally feel like I could have six. This is a huge island. And I, so the nine inches, I am going to go over those figures because I know it, it just it just can't be. But I can see us eating here a lot. You know, eating here, watching someone cook. And so it's just, it's different. And it seems like there's way, way more space from the end of the island to the refrigerator and the refrigerator is not even pushed back and then the refrigerator gets a whole surround around it which is not put in there's a panel on the other side and then there's a pantry on this side and cabinet up above and we're going to try to get that on that's all that stuff that's over there that all goes around the refrigerator that big pantry cabinet that you see there that's the end of it and then that cabinet that has the underside facing us that goes above it and then um, there's a huge panel that goes on this side of the refrigerator. So, yeah, that's all that, those are those panels. There's two panels, actually. You see these big panels here, one here, one here. They go on either side of the refrigerator, and this pantry cabinet goes on one side. And then this cabinet over here goes up on top, this and this. They go over there, and then we have, wait a minute, there's gotta be another cabinet. It's probably, be, oh, it's behind there, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, yes, there it is hiding out over there. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be all those cabinets going in over there, the pantry, and, um, oh, and, we had to play in one of my old videos for my contractor to see something. <laughs> he saw me saying, I don't have a lot of wall space in my kitchen. He's like, you don't have a lot of wall space in your kitchen? I'm like, well, that's not what I meant. I meant I was talking paint colors at the time and I said, I don't have a lot of wall space that's gonna show because this is all gonna be backsplash. That's all gonna be cabinets backsplash. There's only or like over there and then you know down the hallway that's at, that's gonna show um, because it's cabinets, most of it. You know, not even, it's, it's so hard to see 
over before when I had the soffits that came over, you saw, you know, so it's just, once they put the crown molding, there's crown molding going up there. You're gonna see what, like, two inches, these are nine foot ceilings in the hair, so maybe yeah, two inches, who knows. But yeah, I'm just glad we got this in. I'm nervous about, I was like really upset about this not being right, but they're like, look, that's not a problem. Don't get upset about it. Hook up your stuff. And then I just have to get nervous about next week for the um, install in the master bathroom. So we'll see. But anyway, guys, oh, and then over the farmhouse sink, there still needs to be, there's a, going to be, a, there's a building, a surround. That's an actual draw front like this. Okay, it's not going to have this inner portion, but it will have the detailed edge so that it will bring this out um, to the, the depth of here. And then it will go right around that because they actually, when you have a fireplace sink, they're not completely square. And they actually cut this at the factory. Um, it was a mistake because they never usually do that. So I don't know the kitchen designer had it down or whatever. They cut it like a little too long and then a little bit too wide. So they were going to build a whole new cabinet. And then we looked and they can do this thing with putting the drawer and it looks really nice. It looks so much nicer. In fact, it looks so much nicer that my kitchen designer said she is going to do that all the time. So she was very happy that they made a mistake because she found a new thing. But since their factory was closed over the July 4th, that, you know, everything is custom made. The, the finish on here is a, um, it's a vintage, this is like bright white, but it's vintage bright white, so it has a vintage finish where you see, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but you see like the, like the graining, and then it has a glaze on it. So that takes like multiple steps and multiple processes and everything is made to order. Now all the cabinets need to be aligned as you can see and then we've got to put our hardware on still. So, but we are getting there. Um, we are getting there. And oh, and then there's a, there's a molding that's coming for this microwave where it's going to be like an arch kind of here and then it wraps around. It wraps around here. So you won't see any of the microwave. And we did get the Kobe Japanese exhaust fan, rain hood, whatever you call it, installed. And that's up here. The electrician is going to hardwire it tomorrow. And my kitchen designer seeing I should get some, I don't know, she said some stainless steel or something to go around here where it would be easy to clean. So I've got to look into that. And um, then like, this light switch we changed. You see we have little USB ports and now we're putting them over there and the rest of the ones we're gonna change. So they have to come in, they're getting rid of this. They gotta do some skim coating here. And then I'm in the portion, the process, excuse me, of picking out the backsplash, which is driving me nuts. Driving me nuts, but um, yeah. So he's like, yeah, have that done this weekend. I'm, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we've got to do our molding and our trim and all of our, but, yeah, slowly but surely getting there. And um, so that's my update, because I didn't want to leave <laughs> you all hanging. Isn't it nice of me? And I actually wanted to come down and get, grab a drink. And tomorrow, I hope I can share with you my faucet and running water and my drain. I have a very special drain from this for this sink, which is this no-touch drain. I'll just show it to you. It's really quite remarkable. The farmhouse sink is from Nantucket Sinks. It's actually a reversible sink and I showed it to you, but we picked this side. I thought the, the flat side looked more traditional with everything. And um, so that's what I picked there. I really like it. We have it, you know, out just enough and it's, I don't know, I really like it. I didn't have a, I have a farmhouse sink in my butler's pantry, but it's a stainless steel one wanted the fire clay. My other sink here was a undermounted like double bowl, not a double bowl, um, large bowl and then there was a vegetable bowl and that's when I wanted to do the large farmhouse sink and then keep the prep sink 
here because it's like this, I couldn't have a pot filler. Couldn't have a pot filler. My kitchen center would not let me have a pot filler because this is an outside wall. And we live in New York where it gets very, very cold and we don't want to have any problems with leaks. So I was not allowed a pot filler. And what's good about this is we can fill pots right here. Here's the cooktop. Here, empty water here, you know. So that's really convenient. So that was my trade-off. And this is a um, Rivati sink. This is a Rivati sink. Stainless steel sink. So yeah, I mean, and I've seen people that have like another big um, farmhouse sink in their island. And not only does that cut down a lot of your storage, but like, I don't know, do you really need two farmhouse sinks in your, like that? Like, like I've seen them like there and, and right there. <laughs> I'm like, okay, but no, this one is going to be um, useful because I always, um, when, I, when I, I'm cooking Thanksgiving and I entertain a lot and stuff, this island is where I prepare vegetables. The cutting board is actually in this cabinet here now. You know what, we got to get the cup pulls on because now that the countertops are on, I can't just pull it down. So my husband really has to get on that with the contractors. So, but the cutting board is here that pulls out. So if I'm chopping vegetables, then you know, like when I wanna wash the potatoes, I can do that here, put them here, and then you know, peel. I've got, we figured this out, so my trash is right here. So this is an excellent prep area, really good prep area. And um, you know, I bake a lot of cookies and I roll them right on the stone counters and stuff. So, like even my kitchen designer was saying, like, this is a lot of room to work. It really is, because you could have somebody totally baking bread or cookies down this end, someone doing vegetables, and you're not going to get in each other's way. You could have somebody at the sink um, doing something else, somebody at the stove, somebody at the oven. So, yeah, it's really got a good layout. It's a good feel for it. And um, as we like to do a lot of cooking, we have everything here. All of our holidays, everything, are, it's always here. So, yeah, we've got uh, a lot of space to put things. And so I'm interested to show you tomorrow what happens. But I'm going to go to bed now. I'm going to get a drink and go to bed because um, the crew will be knocking on the door probably in about six hours. So I think I'm going to just put a movie on Netflix and try to go to sleep. I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just, I was so tired before I was falling asleep doing my work. Like I was like, I can't even do any more of this work. And then, then I got like a second wind. And so now I've got to wind it down, go to sleep. But yeah, that is it. I'm not gonna show you my deal of the century on rugs, but they're not all here yet. It's unbelievable, the deals I got, but anyway. Um, here's my faucets and everything ready to go. Got more Amazon stuff there I've got to do. And my cooktop is down there. So we've got to start moving back in the house. Once we can start washing our dishes and things that are in storage and start putting them away and I can start like really cleaning in here because of having the sinks, then we're going to be able to start emptying and getting back to some kind of normalcy because we've been eating on paper plates <laughs> or it's, it's just like well, we have the microwave in this store yeah it's just we were out of the house for many many months but moved back in in the last few weeks because the we hey we just wanted to get back in and you know i need a dishwasher again i need my dishes i need to cook and the first thing I want to cook is my father's spaghetti and meatballs um, with our homemade sauce and homemade meatballs and I can't wait so I'm like waiting so much for that um so I hope the cooktop and everything goes in smoothly tomorrow they I know that it fits right in they they did slide it in there but um contractor didn't want to mess with it because there's silicone on stuff so he just like let everything set tonight and that's what he said, just go to a movie, go to dinner, just get the heck out of here. <laughs> Don't let the kids run around and be monkeys, you know. So 
that was about it. And, you know, I've got, there's like dust on the counter. I know they, they cleaned off the counters when they left, but I mean, they were cutting stuff. There's like dust, there's just sawdust all over. There's, look at my windows, you know, I just want to clean up. Uh, we still have a dumpster outside. We've got to get all the papers outside. This is stuff I had on the refrigerator, remember, this morning. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.